Hi everyone. Hello, 大家好 We're on chapter ten, right? And, no. Uh, oh, nine. Uh. And then、uh, I think Pierre came back and decided to go to、um, Anatole's party, right? Yes. And then、uh, anything happened on Anatole's party or what's going on there? Nothing good happened. Yeah, there's some people next to the window, crowded next to the window, and there's the bat. And there's a bear as well. The bear.、Um, okay. Okay. And the bat on each other. I don't know what they're betting on, but、uh, basically Anatole said,、uh, "Hey, Petia, that's name Pierre, right? Where, where? Here's Petia." Oh, Anatole's already seen Pierre. Yeah. Another、uh, voice from a man of medium height with clear blue eyes, particularly striking among all these drunken voices by its sober ring. So it says among these people, there's somebody about medium height, not so tall,、yeah. with blue eyes. Blue eyes. But particularly striking means that what's more striking is、uh, hitting too. Whatever, what's more striking? So striking. what's more, what's more different about this guy? Striking、okay. among all the drunken voices. By a. It's sober rings. Sober. It didn't sound like this guy is drunk. What? Sober means not drunk. Not、right? drunk. Ring means the voice. Yeah, voice is ringing. So so he he、window. didn't drunk. Do not know. Just、uh, his voice does not、uh, sound drunk. Cry、okay. from the window. Come here, part the bats. So they're betting on something. Part. This, what the part of bats mean? Separate the bats. I don't know. Ah.、Uh, This was、uh, Dolokhov. Oh, Dolokhov. This man. An officer of the Semenov regiment, a notorious gambler and duelist. Was living with Anatole. Pierre smiled, looking about him merrily. This is an officer,、mm. and he was actually a gambler. He likes to gamble money. And, How you、uh, know? This word means gambler. No, that's the name of the regiment. A、mm. notorious gambler and duelist. That's what it says there. Notorious gambler. So regiment. This regiment is just、uh, the kind、mm. of like small part of the army that he's part of. It's called regiment segment. Seven off regiment is just a small part. It's the name of a particular regiment, and that's a regiment is a part of an army. Army. Okay, so he's a soldier, maybe. Yes. So this. Notorious is like bad, bad, bad famous. That's what notorious means. Bad famous. Yes. He's not famous. No, means famous, but bad in a. Not only you're famous because you're doing something popular, good, good, but this is bad. You're famous because you did something bad. Oh my God!、So、Notorious gambler and duelist. He likes to gamble and duel, duel like he likes to fight with other people. Fight with other people. Yeah, he was living with Anna. Oh, okay. Still looking about him, merely means、yeah. lovely, happily, happy. I don't understand what is this all about.、Um, Pierre said. Yeah. Wait a bit. He is not drunk yet. A bottle here," said Anatole. So he wants to get Pierre drunk. Okay. And taking a glass from the table, he went to Pierre. Oh. First of all, you must drink. Pierre drank one glass after another. So I should drink two already. Yeah. Looking from under his brows, brows, at the tipsy guests. Tipsy means like they're not walking very、um, tipsy, almost like tip over. Right. So looking from under his brows, what is looking from under his brows? These are brows, okay? The、uh, under your brow. So looking for from no, from under. You basically look with your eyes, right?、Oh. So it's another way it says looking from under his brows. So why would you say that? Because he may be drunk, so maybe he's like looking under his brows or something. It's who it's Pierre? Pierre. Pierre is he drunk? He drank one glass after another. It says they're ready. Looking. He means Pierre's or other Pierre people's. Pierre drank one glass after another,、uh, looking from under his brows. Under his brows, he at the tipsy guests who were again crowding around the window. So which part? So he's looking under his brows, his own brows. Brows is this part of your head, right? So you look with your eyes. Why is he looking from under his brows? Sure, that you the eyes is under your brows. Yeah, but again, so you have to think about why would you want to say something like that. So why would the author want to say something like that, looking from under your brows? Because it's not because he's kind of drunk already. So it's kind of like saying, oh,、uh, you know,、so、when you're drunk, maybe you you don't quite know who what's、uh, where you are or whatever it is, or you don't you know kind of drunk. You're you're thinking. Uh, you don't know where you are, so in particular, you don't even know that you're your own body, kind of. So you may be、like、looking from 
under your brows kind of feel, oh, I'm looking from somebody else's head or something, right? Kind of thing. Oh. Like a tipsy guests who are get t again crowding mm -hmm. around the window mm -hmm. and listening to their chatter. Mm -hmm. Anatole kept on refilling Pierre's glass okay. while explaining that Dolokhov was betting with Stevens, oh. another person, an English naval officer. So there's an English guy there too. Navy officers. Navy, not mm. army, Navy. Work mm. for the ships. The, the oh, ships. Hi, but he would drink a bottle of rum. That he would drink a bottle of rum on the outer ledge of the third floor window with his legs hanging out. Uh -oh. So Dolokhov is sitting. At the ledge, at the window, oh, the ledge, with his legs coming out, standards. and he's drinking three bottles of uh, rum already. Rum, rum mm -hmm. is like very hard liquor, like it's almost water. The color is like this for the liquor, not the oh, wine. Oh, but it's very strong. Whatever, he's just betting he's probably not gonna die. Go on, you must drink it all," said Anatole, giving Pierre the last glass, or I won't let you go. Yeah, so this Anatole is just trying to get Pierre drunk. Yeah. No, I won't said Pierre, pushing Anatole aside, and he okay. went up to the window. Why? I don't know. Dolokhov was holding the Englishman's hand. He was holding the Englishman's hand. Englishman of oh, the navels. Yes. And clearly and distinctly repeating the terms of the bet. So he's, he's telling him, what's the what's bet? What are they betting on? Oh. Addressing himself particularly to Anatole and Pierre. Just let so Dolokhov is trying to tell Pierre and Anatole, what are we betting on? Do Dolokhov was of medium height, you already don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With curly hair, curly hair. Okay. And blue light, blue eyes. He, he was, was about 25. Oh. Like all infantry officers, infantry is the people who walk in the army. Infantry. Infantry? Yeah. Walk. Infantry is the people who walk in the army. Walk in, <coughs> what do you mean walk in the army? In the army. Okay. Right? We walk. Yeah, there's some people who like maybe ride, ride horses. There's some people who walk. Mm. There may be some people who ride others, you know, I don't know, maybe have a carriage or something. Oh. So he's part of the walking part. Oh. So infantry officers, he wore no mustache, had no mustache. What so mustache? Mustache. Hutsu. Yeah, so that his mouth, the most striking feature of all his face, his mouth was clearly seen. So you can see his mouth very well. The most striking feature striking, of his face. Striking, again. Oh, it's striking. his mouth. Yes. The lines of that mouth were remarkably finely curved. So the, the lines of his mouth were finely curved. You can see the lines of oh. his mouth. The middle of the upper lip formed okay. a sharp wedge. Sharp wedge. The oh. middle of a sharp, sharp <laughs> wedge. And closed firmly on the uh, firmly on the lower one. So there's... So his top one was yeah, sharp, yeah. close to his bottom one. Close to the bottom? Yeah, the lines of his mouth, right? Okay. The middle upper lip sharp, sharp. So basically, your middle upper lip, you have a wedge, right? See that you have this little V on here. Yeah. So his is sharp. It's very sharp, sharp. V. Sharp, he's sharp. This, so, so the line is sharp, like a lot V. You know, you can, you can just draw it. It's just a sharp V. Oh, sharp right? V. Okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, that close on his lower one. Um, and something like two distinct smiles played continue, continually around the two corners of his mouth. It almost like he has two smiles. One on this side and one on this side. Huh? It feels like he has two smiles. Two, two distinct smile? smiles. Because his mouth looks... Because his lips look divided. One and two sides, right? So it looks like he has two smiles. Two corners of his mouth. Yes. Around the corner oh. of his mouth. This together with the resolute, resolute, insolent, intelligent of his eyes. Resolute means like very, um, doesn't change. Resolute means. Doesn't change. You know, um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm very resolved. Resolute, I will not change kind of person. Resolute means he's, when he's looking at you, he's looking at you, not looking at something else. Oh. Insolent, insolent means somebody who will not listen to anyone. So resolute, oh. insolent, insolent, intelligence of his eyes. Intelligence. Yes, intelligent, resolute, intelligent. So there's three things: resolute, insolent, intelligence of his eyes. Intelligence means what? Smartness. Smartness. Okay. Produce an effect which made it impossible not to notice his face. So you can easily see his face. You already know his voice sounds sober compared to everybody else. Yeah. His voice, we know he sounds sober already. Now his face. Is actually very striking too. His voice is striking. His face is very striking. And very sharp. And we also know that he's a gambler and a duelist. 
that guy. Dolokhov was a man of small means. Small Dolokhov means. is what? Who? The same guy oh, we've been talking oh, about. Oh, same was same. a man of small means. Means that he doesn't have much money oh. and no connections. He doesn't know anybody. Yet, though Anatol spent tens of thousands of rubles, um, Dolokhov lived with him and had placed him under such... And and uh, and the Anatol spent tens of thousands of rubles, quite a lot of money. Rubles, money? Yeah, it was uh, Russian money. Okay. Uh, Dolokhov lived with him yeah. and had placed him on such footing that all who knew them, including Anatol himself, respected him more than they did. What did he do? Anatol. So okay. basically, uh, Dolokhov lived with Anatol. Yeah. And, and uh, placed him, and Anatol placed him, Dolokhov. Oh, uh... Mm -hmm. Wait, so no, 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 Dolokhov no. lived with him and placed himself. So Dolokhov placed himself, himself on such, on such a footing. footing. Footing means like your like your footing, your where you put your foot. He put his footing uh -huh. uh, on on such a high level. You can think of it, that all who knew him, including Anatol himself, respected him more than they did Anatol. People who they, he he made himself in such high footing that everybody respect him. No, I don't understand. They say that the, the Anatole spent tens of thousands of money because of him? No, though, though Anatole spent a lot of money, Oh. this other guy, yeah. who doesn't have any money, whatever, Okay. he placed himself above all the of these guys, including Anatole. Why? And people respected him more than did even Anatole. Why? What do you think? Because this guy... Smart. He already says many things. His uh, striking appearance, his, his his the way that she looks is very striking. Yeah. The way that he sounds is very striking. Yeah. So why do you think? So people respect him more than the other people. Uh, oh. Anato, who has ten thousand of thousands of rubles. Dolokhov could play all games and nearly all, uh, always won. He can oh. play many games. He's a gambler. Okay. However much he drank, he can drink whatever he wants. However, however much he drank, he never lost his clear head in it. Oh. He can drink whatever he wants. He's still clear head. Oh my gosh. Both Fragan and Dolokhov were at that time notorious among the rakes and scapegraces of Petersburg. What? So rakes and scapegraces, I do not know what that means, but basically scapegraces means probably somebody who is uh, grace, you know, mm. grace, scape grace, probably somebody who doesn't have a lot of um, maybe have grace before Anato, but now it's like nobody can people disrespect them, right? So these two people is who? Kuragan is Anato. And a uh, Kuragan is Anato. Yes. And this is Dolokhov is, is his friend. Well, at that time, notorious. Notorious. Or well notorious. Second time we talk about notorious. Notorious. Badly famous. A oh, badly famous. Among the rakes and scrape races of Petersburg. Rakes means I do not know what rakes oh. are. I do not know what skate races are. Okay, it just means these two people are fam famous, but it's bad famous. Yes, among the bad people of Petersburg. Among the bad people of Petersburg. Yeah. Oh, ooh, continue. The bottle of rum, the bottle of rum, the was, white, uh, the white was, brought. was brought because he's gonna drink it. The window frame, which prevented anyone from sitting on the outer sill, was being forced out by two footmen. What? What? The window frame which prevented anyone from sitting from sitting on the outer sill outer sill was being forced out by two footmen who were evidently yeah. flurried and intimidated by the directions and shouts of the gentlemen around so okay. basically they're trying he, so he wants to sit okay about this window frame but it pre because um uh, because it prevented anyone from sitting. So something about the frame, you cannot sit correctly. Oh, okay. Whatever. So I don't know what they were doing. On the altar seal. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing to the frame. Okay, so that the king has, He's trying to make himself be able to sit there, right? So I don't know what's happening. It does not matter. It, not, not important. They're trying to make it so that he can sit there, right? It's being forced. I do not know what the seal is. So you ask me, I don't know what it is. What it was being forced? The seal was being forced. The seal was being forced out. Yes. By two footmen. Yes. Who? The footmen. Yes. Were evidently, evidently flurried. Flurried. Probably, I think, worried. And intimidated. Uh, feared. Fearful. Fear by, by the directions and shouting and shouts of the gentlemen around. Oh, oh, the gentlemen around make the footmen to no, do something with so. the seal. Make sure they can sit on the frame. Not they. Only one person is going to sit there. Who? Dolokhov. 
So, so Dolokhov wants to sit on the frame. So they, they want the footman to, to, to do something with the seal. Yes. And then he can sit on the frame. Correct. Okay. Anatol, with his uh, swaggering air, uh, strode up to the window. Uh, he wanted to smash something. What he is swaggering? Swaggering, like going like back and forth, swaggering. Air? Yeah, I don't know why is that. I don't know why he put air there. Stroke up to the window. Strode up to the window. Strode up. Walk to the window? Kind of, yeah. What, what kind of? It's kind of like walking to the window. It's not it's strode, it's not walking. Because he's already like, drunk. Possibly. He wanted to smash, he wanted to break something. Break? Smash. Break something. Push away the footman. He arched at the frame, but could not move it. He tugged at the frame, but could not move it. He smashed the pane. So, I don't know. He was... I don't know. They're trying to put him sit there, okay? I do not know what's going on. But he, he was trying to move something. He smashed the pane. He broke one of the windows. Pain is what? Window pane. What? A window normally has a pane. Like, not... Uh, you know, this one has, like, one big one. But all their normal windows have, like, one, two like a little rectangular pieces for the okay. window. He broke one of the, he broke a pane. So what the footman, he thought at the frame? Huh? This war. He pushed the footman. He, okay, I don't know, I can go back again. Uh, something to the footman. He pushed, him, he pushed away the footman, I don't know. He pushed the footman, he tugged at the frame. Oh, what the tug mean? Tug, tug it. Tug at the frame. Okay. Mm. You have a try, Hercules said he, turning to Pierre. So called Pierre Hercules. Hercules is supposed to be a very strong guy in uh, Greece. Um, who took to Pierre? Anatole. Anatole. This people is Anatole. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Pierre seized a crossbeam, tugged, and branched the oak frame out with, with a crash. Uh -huh. So Pierre is very strong. Uh -huh. So he actually broke the window. So basically there is a crossbeam. So the window is the window probably has, has something like, uh, like this right has a cross so you cannot sit there because you have that cross there yeah. so so Pierre pushed it out and took away the whole window frame oh arc frame yeah. out with a crash huh <laughs> take it right out or they'll think I'm holding on said Dolokhov huh? so basically you cannot he, he wants to say everybody hey I'm not holding to anything I'm just gonna sit there no so is English mean bragging Hey, is it all right? said Anatole. So, um, I don't know. His Englishman is that Stevens guy. Bragging means something that, um, saying something, oh, he can't do it or whatever. That's what his, the Englishman says, oh, he cannot do it. Uh, so, Anatole wants to sit on the window. No, it's Dolokhov. Oh, but why Ana Anatole? Anatole didn't say he's going to sit anytime on the window. Where did he say but, he's going to sit? But why Anatole move, want to move it? So that he, he basically, Dolokhov cannot sit on the frame right now. Cannot oh, sit on the window. Oh, okay. Crazy. First rate, said Pierre, looking at Dolokhov, who with a bottle of rum in his hand was approaching the window and from which the light of the sky the dawn margin with the afterglow of sunset was visible so it's already you know it's past one o'clock right so now the dawn is the sun is coming up already because it's the sun is coming up so it's past one o'clock it's almost like you can see the sun coming up already so he's going to be sitting there so Dolokhov the no, bottle first rate first rate means you first to go first no First rate just means great. Same thing. First rate, just great. Great. So this guy with a bottle of rum in his hand was approaching the window. Did they already go to the window? He. He already the window. window. From which the window? Yes. The light of the sky. Yes. And the 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 light down the early morning light, right? No, the dawn means early morning. The dawn. Yeah, why do you say no? I you said, said light. There's not light. The yeah. light of the sky is one thing. The dawn is not the light. The light of the sky is one thing. The dawn is just an early morning. The early morning mer merging, merging with the afterglow of, after glow of sunset was visible. So, so the dawn merged with the sunset. Yes. And uh, 
which was visible. Yes. Which? The light of the sky. The light of the sky. So the light of the sky is the dawn and the sunset. No, the light of the sky is the light of the sky. The dawn and the sunset are two things. So the three things together was visible. No, the light of the sky was visible. From which the light of the sky was visible. The light of the sky was visible. Correct. Okay, and then, and then. What do you mean? The light from where? From the dawn and the sunset. No, this is that the light of the sky. Oh. Uh, okay. The dawn and sunset has to do with what? Where did this light come from? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say so. This main sentence doesn't need that. If the light of the sky was visible, that's all you need to know. Like the light of the sky was visible. But where the light come from? It's from, from the, the dawn, dawn merging with merging the glow with of the, the sunset. After glow of sunset. Yes. So sunset and after glow. Okay. When the sun goes down, what yeah. happens? The light will become weak. Yes. So that's after glow of sunset. Uh, but even after you don't see the sun, there's still something on the uh, sky you can see. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, Dolokhov, the bottle of rum still in his hand, jumped onto the windowsill. So now he's on the windowsill. He's actually on the, he's, he's probably standing on the window now. Okay. Listen, cried he, standing there and addressing those in the room. All were silent. Everybody's silent now. Uh, okay. I bet 50 imperials. So he now bet, he, he, he betting some money now. I don't know how much imperials are. Mm. He spoke French and the Englishman might understand him. So he's not speaking Russian, he's speaking French. But he did not speak it well. I bet 50 imperials. Or do you wish to make it 100? Added he, addressing the Englishman. So the Englishman says, no, 50. Replied the latter. So the Englishman is betting. So, uh, so we can stop here. So I bet 50. Who talking? Dalakov. 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 This Dalakov is the smart man? Yeah, intelligent. Yeah. Intelligent man. He's... So Englishman is who? The guy who's betting against him. Is so the Navy? Yes. The English Navy. And he is who lives with uh, Anatol. Yes. Okay. Uh, we can stop here.